हेलो वेलकम टू सानेज एकेडमी चैनल दिस इज संजय साने इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द यूसेज ऑफ इंटरेक्ट फंक्शन इन आई पाइथन विजिट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन सिंपल इंटरेक्टिव ग्राफ एंड ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी सम मोर इंटरेक्टिविटी लेट्स टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वन डेटा सेट here we are making some imports and among these imports see that we have imported widgets from ip widgets and also loaded the data set boston now i will create a histogram for the variable housing values hence here comes my code for creating histogram using seaborn option here is my histogram with bin specified as 20 now we have a scope of modifying this histogram with bins changed so over here i define a function here and in that function cust hist i make a provision to change the bins okay so when i will be using this function i will be just specifying how many bins i want and accordingly when my bins will change my histogram layout is going to change my histogram is going to change well now we are going to use this function cust hist with interact function let's do that so hence in order to make this histogram interactive i first of all specify this function in the widgets dot interact function now basically i am calling this function here widgets dot interact as the first argument we should be specifying the function name and as a second argument we need to specify the argument which is pertaining to that particular function if we specify tuple then we will be getting slider input if we specify boolean we will be getting radio button if we specify list we will be getting drop down now over here i am going to specify it in tuple now i require to specify those many values which i want to have in the slider for bins so let my bins be minimum as 5 and maximum as say 40 with 5 as the step now let us run this as we see now that the default is 20 though well we can modify this and we see that when i'm sliding my histogram is getting changed in this way we can have a simple interactivity with our graph so say that we want to create one interactive widget in such a way that when we have any one variable we have a scope of specifying what type of graph we really want so do you want histogram or do you want box plot or do you want anything like density plot okay let us see how to do that hence now we create a function so let's start defining the function over here we want the argument as type for type of the graph now if type is specified as histogram then the code of histogram will be executed otherwise if the type is specified as box plot then box plot code will be executed or when we specify density plot then density plot code will get executed let us terminate this by plt dot show function and now we require to 
specify this function in widgets dot interact let us do that so hence we write over here widgets dot interact and inside that we specify the name of that particular function and then now over here I want a drop down box to be visible hence type is equal to should be specified as a list so the histogram then box plot these values are to be specified in the list so that the drop down box will be visible for type hence let us run this so here we have the drop down box visible as we have specified the list for this argument and now as we change this value we will be getting the particular type of graph thanks for watching this video if you like this video please click the like button and for latest updates from me do subscribe to my channel thank you Thank you.